Greetings. The project Spatial Image Clustering Analysis is done by Pratna Patavi, Sanbhavi, Hemalata and Ramya under the guidance of CH Malikarjun Rathbhar of CSE Department GRIET. Let me introduce you to our project. Geographically, many changes takes place due to various factors which might either be natural or man-made at almost every second. After a certain period of time, when we try to notice these changes, it might be difficult for human eye to notice the changes unless it is distinct. And also, changes that are so vast in a region when occurred makes it difficult for the humans to perceive the location to which the change belongs to. As our main project, we propose the idea of spatial data mining with the concept of clustering as its prime technique, in which we cluster the spatial data sets and evaluate the results. The pictorial spatial data sets are converted into matrices using MATLAB. These matrices are then completely or partially fed as input to the algorithm. What is data mining? Data mining is the process of analyzing data from different perspectives and summarizing it into useful information. Before a data mining algorithm can be used, a target data set must be assembled. Pre-processing is essential to analyze the multivariate data sets before data mining. The target set is then cleaned. Data cleaning removes the observations containing noise and those with missing data. Data mining involves six common classes of tasks. They are anomaly detection, association rule learning, clustering, classification, regression, and summarization. What is spatial data mining? Spatial data mining is the process of discovering interesting and previously unknown, potentially useful patterns from spatial databases. The complexity of spatial data and intrinsic spatial relationships limits the usefulness of conventional data mining techniques for extracting spatial patterns. What is spatial data clustering? Spatial clustering methods which are considered as important components of spatial data mining are classified into four categories. They are partitioning methods, hierarchical methods, density based methods and grid based methods. Partitioning methods like k-means and k-medioids etc. are the methods which make use of a technique called iterative reallocation to improve the clustering quality from the initial solution. These methods tend to find clusters that are of spherical shape and they are made for minimizing the distance from the data objects to their distant center. On the contrary of these, hierarchical clustering algorithms fix the membership of a data object once it has been allocated to a cluster. A third group of these methods is based on density of data points within a region to discover the cluster. Finally. To increase the efficiency of clustering, grid-based clustering methods approximate the dense regions of clustering space by quantizing it into a finite number of cells that contain more than a number of points as dense. Clusters are then formed by connecting the dense cells. Let us know more about the algorithm dbscan. DB scan, also known as density based spatial clustering of application with noise, is a density based algorithm. It was proposed by Martin Esther, Hans Peter Krigel, Jock Sander, and Zhu in 1966. It is a density based clustering algorithm because it finds a number of clusters starting from the estimated density distribution of corresponding nodes. It takes two parameters, epsilon and min points. Epsilon is the maximum radius of the neighborhood, whereas min points is the minimum number of points in an epsilon neighborhood of that point. Let us know the DB scan terminology. A point is said to be a core point if it is a point inside the cluster, that is, a point having an epsilon neighborhood not less than min points. A point is said to be a border point if it lies on the border of the cluster, that is, it has its epsilon less than that of the min points. A point, any other point which is not a core point or a border point is a noise point.
epsilon neighborhood object within a radius of epsilon from an object core objects epsilon neighborhood of a object contains at least minimum points of objects directly density reachable a point p is directly density reachable from a point q with respect to epsilon and midpoints if p belongs to the neighborhood of q and the core point condition is satisfied density reachable an object p is density reachable from q with respect to epsilon and midpoints if there is a chain of objects p1 p2 so on to pn with p1 is equal to q and pn is equal to p such that pi plus 1 is directly density reachable from pi with respect to epsilon and minimum points for all i between 1 and n density connectivity object p is density connected to object q with respect to epsilon and min points if there is an object o such that both p and q are density reachable from o with respect to epsilon and min points let us know the advantages of db scan over the k means as you can see the algorithm db scan has predefined cluster numbers and outliers are handled better k means doesn't handle clusters which have arbitrary shape db scan versus clarets db scan defines the clusters with high definition than that of the clarets db scan is more effective in discovering the clusters of arbitrary shape than clarets db scan can identify noise whereas clarets cannot run time of clarets is comparatively larger than db scan clarets cannot be applied for larger databases results show that db scan outperforms clarets by a factor of at least 100 in terms of efficiency now let us see the implementation of our project as you can see on the screen the gui of our project is there in order to select an image please click on the browse as we select an image and open it it tries to form the clusters repeating the same procedure we select another image and then open it a different set of clusters are formed on a comparative pretest we can observe the changes that are taking place in the first image that was considered the clusters are formed like this for the first image the minus 1 indi indicates the outliers and noise points and also three other clusters are formed the output is clustering of images is represented in the form of histograms the x axis gives the cluster number whereas the y axis gives the number of objects in each cluster minus 1 cluster in the x axis represents the outlier points which is defined as a set of points in the database not belonging to any cluster Similarly for the second image which was considered after a natural disaster more number of clusters are formed because of changing properties Similarly minus 1 cluster indicates the outlier points which is defined as a set of points in the database not belonging to any cluster and also six other different clusters are formed thus we can compare the changes the complexity of our algorithm when a spatial index is used is of order of log n log n 
without using a spatial index the complexity of our algorithm is order of n square thank you